So let's take a look at the global situation now. The creature your troops defeated here was clearly of some importance to the aliens, Commander. Let us hope that the recovery that feels a lot better. prove equally important to our own efforts. I have fourteen dollars. Oh, my supply drops over here. What the heck? Destroyed a vessel of the Elder's wisdom, and with it comes your opportunity at understanding the knowledge it contained. Ah, it's retaliation time. We did we did hear that that was imminent. If they would choose defiance, then I will force their obedience. These are some of the nastiest missions you'll encounter each month. We have to go into an enemy-rich environment with special siege enemies, too. Probably more Muton Berserkers. And if we do not complete this mission to satisfaction then we'll lose contact with the region entirely. How's it going, Ricky Main? I do not play uh, TFT. Generally, you won't catch me playing many multiplayer games. Much more enjoy uh, challenging myself in single player. All right, again, we're looking to bring our highest ranked people on this one. Valor's tired. Take her and Zetox. Enigma. Items you can bring. Can you also bring a flashbang? No. But we can bring a skulljack. Since I don't have skull mining, I'm not going to bother at the moment. Let's take our Reaper. Actually, no, you don't get cons... But Reaper can be concealed even on a Haven Assault, right? Actually, that seems really nice. Hope we give the Reaper a better weapon. Drop dodge. Phantom and Shadow are independent of squad concealed, so it still works. Got it. So rangers with phantoms start concealed, am I hearing that correctly? If so, I've been undervaluing the perk. Because that means you get two free concealments, one at the start and then one when you use the ability. It's been lying to me. We might run into the Warlock here. That would be a annoying, complicating factor. Word just came down. The aliens have amassed a huge force to strike one of the resistance outposts nearby. And those people desperately need any help we can provide them. We're going in to eliminate the enemy threat. Oh, the ability to says stay concealed when your squad is revealed. I'm misremembering. Which one? one of those chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. 
But the Reaper has two. They can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Okay, we've got the Move groups of soldiers thing. That's good. Attacking alien forces. Good. I go where I am needed. So we poke way ahead with our extremely overpowered stealthy boy. Get an idea of where the enemies are at. If no enemies are spotted, we may charge directly forward. Huzzah. I can make it. Dashing. On the move. Already there. Looking to stay within a fairly narrow range of tiles, as we're not 100% sure what's safe outside of what I've already seen. And yes, there are more berserkers. Newton went. Moving. There you are. Hi. Think about using whiplash. Don't hit the swirly thing. The hall of targeting. Shot wide. And now he's gone? Question mark? Kind of. I like using Templars. Not as much as I like using Skirmishers. Skirmishers are definitely my favorite of the faction heroes. Oak says I am to like beyond vision. Understood. Covering. Target is marked. Harry is very ridiculous. <laughs> There's so many things. Like, the Templar could just one on one a Muton Berserker. Easily. Is 
a little bit silly, but... I don't mind. Let's get that Spectre. Impressed yet? Admittedly, really cool shot. All right, next priority, that Muton needs to be very much not alive anymore. Remember, do not melee the mutons. Repeat, do not melee the mutons. Copy that. It's a range penalty on the bullpup, that makes sense. to do that. It's theoretically safe to do that, but I might reveal a new pod, so I'm not going to do that. Actually, wait. You can tell me if I'm going to do or reveal a new pod by doing that. <laughs> Moving out. Anybody around? Hello? I will go. Alright, that looks like nobody. So, send in the Templar. Smart choice. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. Got it. Shit. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. So far behind the Reaper. Maintaining this area. everything.
That's a good place to uh, drop a claymore, actually. Actually, are you guys remote startable? Can remote start that? <laughs> Probably not what I want to do. Reaper is not revealed when shooting the claymore or when it is triggered. Placing explosive. Oh, nice. Covering distance. Locked and loaded. Solid copy. Good to go. That's the way up there. Interesting. Find where you are. Overwatch. No one will slip past. Um, hi. Clear why they revealed. Is over. Oh, everything on the map just activated for some reason. Well, that's fun. And the soldiers are all reloading. Can't see Overwatch hit chance, no. But as usual, there's a mod for that. Mm -hmm. All right, lots of stuff to do now. Mutons everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Totally missed this as a sniping opportunity. This might be a kill zone moment. Where's my sniper? There you are. Locked and loaded. Is there a free reload? Yeah, because we can just cover the entire area with kill zone. Okay, just do that. Take three shots on your turn. Yeah, an expanded mag for Overwatch, uh, for Killzone would be really good. We're working on the high tier upgrade stuff. And we get the Hunter's Rifle, that'll work really well. Actually, nobody gets hit by the uh, remote start because they're not near the explosive part. Go figure. So many things we could do here. Many mutons will be taking many shots. Thinking about lobbing a gas grenade in that direction. Not sure I'm going to be able to get it far enough. It's the problem. If 
here to him. Okay. Could go double grenade. Or I could do multiple things with the ranger. Tough call. We should kill the non-berserkers first. The berserkers are relatively controllable. The regular mutons are going to be troublemakers for me. Mimic Beacon would also help distract. I think that's a good idea. I wonder if that uses my turn. Roger that. 63 on that Muton. Gas grenade gets just one. Alright, I think I'll try to just shoot this guy conventionally then. Take two shots. I'm all right. Okay, that should be a kill even with thingy. I give you strength. And that only uses one of her actions, so we can throw the mimic beacon with the other one. Good. Still a kill, even though we missed, thanks to the stock. Good job, stock. No, it's boring to use a stock solution sometimes, but they are reliable. Help but agree. I am trusting you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How many civilians are in the blast radius of this one? But also all the mutons. I don't think so. Don't think so. The valiant effort, but no. My failure is my own. I have no ammo. Reloading. Maybe should have gone for the grenade first, actually. Okay, fair enough. Their armor still holds. Already moved, right? That's right. A focused strike of power. Oh, Jesus. They can parry that? I didn't realize it worked that way. Crap. I did not know that works like that. Straight up, didn't know that. Mistakes have been made. This is really long range, so it's not a surprise we're getting missed here. Uh oh. Good. They have made the greatest sacrifice. Yeah, the Mimic Beacon made the greatest sacrifice, that's right.
How's it going, Ronin HW? I play mostly Honest Man. We've had one restarted mission this campaign. Generally speaking, I reload as little as possible. Problem is, if they slaughter the civilians like this, we might not be able to keep the region with us. Okay, I only need to lose up to six more. We're fine. Yeah, I restarted the, the Black Sight mission when it went sour. I I'll t honestly went on the Black Sight a little bit too early this campaign. You will never hide from me. Okay. So, Zatox is stunned. We can kill both mute. Uh, well, kill several mutons. We might be able to change our fate a little bit here. This does look relatively bad, though. We're green to go. Increase of chances. 87 on the berserkers. 58 on the muton. Interesting. Okay. We'll think about that. Yeah, not many civilians alive in the truck. Gotta focus on the regular mutons, though. That's the priority right now. You should actually be exposed. Okay, the Reaper can finish off that badly damaged Muton. There's three more over here. Such a big problem. Being on top of the bus is a good idea. I will move. Actually, alternately, I think this is a good idea. I don't really care if... We're dropping... Uh, if we lose loot on because of this. on this guy. Be careful about those berserkers, though. It's like running and gunning over there seems like a really bad idea. You two left. Okay. So somebody has to kill this thing. Slash distract the other muton. Let's 
gives an action to you. Should be fine. Is that about to immediately take an action? I think it is. Uh-oh. Oh, he's dead. Ah, uh, and so is the Templar man. That's rude. The stress of battle is enough to get to anyone. This mission went really we south. We'll have to give our soldiers plenty of time to rest. I don't understand why all the mutons activated at the same time, though. Does anyone understand what happened there? It was like everything that my Reaper could see suddenly became active, even though. The Reaper was concealed. And I don't understand. If you can see the aliens with your soldier, the resistant soldiers will trigger the pods. Ah! Okay, so that's what happened. Hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Considering what to do about that. Uh, I don't like losing some of my best soldiers to a mechanic I didn't know about, but that is also the XCOM experience sometimes. And we can recover from this, so I think that's what I'll choose to do. Same things happen with the lost. You have to be able to see them both. Hmm. No tissue damage. Soon to be out of our fight. Fight. We'll go on. Well, actually, also, Zatox didn't die because of the activation thing. Zatox died because I thought I could kill a muton with one hit point with a melee attack, and that is actually not true. Lesson learned. Never can seem to keep Templars alive. Hmm. Might be able to save the Reaper here. Tired of waiting around. Bit of a long shot, but we're taking. Rip the Reaper. It's a 
okay. This is supposed to be a skirmisher campaign anyway. Getting rid of the other faction heroes means they won't be stealing the show. No, don't do that. Already learned that lesson. Solid copy. Moved on, more like foot on. Oh, you ton. Full. Pull back a bit. It'll be fine. Solid copy. Alright, GG. Two soldiers lost to learn two lessons. One, mutons can parry melee attacks, even if the melee attacks is 100% on it. And two, enemies can be revealed by AI in really dumb ways. Very bad mechanic for Raxus. Bad job. starving in a shack somewhere. No regrets, Commander. Give him some photos. He will live on in our struggle. I do regret giving him the bonus health now, though, since he didn't live. He did not die in vain. At least I didn't... I keep him the mobility thing, didn't I? Blah. Oh, well. Hello, Commander. Oh, well. We can recruit new soldiers. Anyway, so there will be another Templar, there will be another Reaper, but I'm in no hurry to get them. Avenger power, interesting. <laughs> I'm impressed. 
I've always found those extra-dimensional beings to be especially irritating to hunt down. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. One of each, please. though to captain grant an extra action to a squad mate any squad mate seems pretty good free ripjack attacks on any enemies that enter or attack from melee range for most of my kind interrupt instead of firing automatically on overwatch perform any single action for once there was a constant stream of dominance now there is only enemies. saturation fire is an interesting supplemental In ability found purpose we will strike back at those who gave us no Grab choice combat our presence. Got so many uh, shared AP. Fifteen available, two wounded, two unavailable. percent chance for a free move. That's funny. Those aren't very important. Avenger plotting new course. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. From our initial breakdown, I have to assume Advent Mech Design was at least in part based on the alien sectopod. Similar autonomous war machine lacking in biological components. As far as I can tell, the Advent variant was supposed to be less intimidating, more suited for urban pacification or peacekeeping operations conducted in proximity to civilian crowds. That facade only works because the carefully designed wep disguised weapon systems integrated throughout the machine. I don't think people would react so calmly if they knew about the micro-missile launcher launching system linked to Advent's network, running facial net recognition on the crowds and microsecond intervals. Can now create the Kremlin Mark II for better hacking stats and other bonuses. Blue screen protocol. Blue screen rounds would be really good to get. Assistance comms reduced by half. <laughs> Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. Having never seen any of the previous muton variants personally, I can only go by the stories I've heard from Central Officer Bradford and others. As they say, the current breed is apparently on the smaller side, although considerably more agile than the originals. Internally, the subject maintains all the hallmarks of extensive genetic modification, with additional musculature and bone protecting the internal organs from any risk of direct contact. The aliens clearly spent a great deal of time and effort honing the abilities 
of the Muton as a frontline combat soldier. I'd heard that our soldiers believe the Mutons to be a part of a tribal society, at least originally, based on their unusual battle cries and markings seen in the field. Having finally gotten a closer look, I can confirm the presence of unusual scarification that could certainly be attributed to ritualistic behavior of some kind. This, I think this gives me a better cyan. To our troops as the Advent priests has up until recently been rarely sighted outside the city center. While not physically intimidating, much like the elders themselves, these priests are deceivingly powerful psionic beings. Even in death, their remains still radiate with powerful afterimages of psi energy. Maybe we should start training someone else. The elders don't spend a lot of time worrying about the difference between soldiers and civilians. It's all the same in the end. These Chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, Commander, and are spreading terror throughout the Resistance as they go. We'll need to pay close attention to each one as they gain more information about our larger effect The Chosen have already learned too much about our operations, Commander. If we don't work with the resistance oh, that's of cheap. covert action to hunt them down, we're going to end up on the defensive. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. We noticed early on that the Avenger has a tendency to dip forward when the power core is under load without the engines engaged. At first, I thought maybe it was a stabilizer issue, but now I'm starting to think it's all just part of the alien's grand design. The core itself may not be entirely stable, which would explain why the aliens went later. through so much trouble to isolate it in the bow. So we're running short of alloys again. Get some here. Instead of going for Avenger power, I guess that makes sense. Avenger plotting new course. Maximum power consumption reached. Five power for the Shadow Chamber. Five power for the Scylla. 42 day build time. Wow. We can start construction on the Shadow Chamber whenever you're ready, Commander. This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems, but we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. Five days. It's a lengthy time. Hey there, Boar45. You are so welcome for the fantastic content. Thanks for the fantastic support. a number of new discoveries, Commander. Sustaining Sphere. While their physical appearance is no more striking than that of a typical Advent soldier, their talents in wielding psionic energy clearly differentiates them from the standard hybrid unit. Based on my post-mortem examination, I believe the source of this increased proficiency comes from careful genetic manipulation, a hallmark of the Elder's forces. In this case, an unusual synaptic configuration allows for what I believe to be psionic transduction between otherwise distinct and unrelated cell types found throughout the body. In combat, these increased pathways for the storage and release of psionic energy allow the priests to project control 
over its enemies in the field while bolstering the survivability of its allies. Perhaps most critically, the priest has been known to sustain its own life force through psionic manipulation, cheating death in a way not seen amongst the Elder's other subordinate alien research races. So there's a one-time save your life item. That seems pretty good. We might make one or two of those depending on their price. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Hey, Commander. Two priest corpses, 75 supplies. Not bad. Priest corpses can be hard to come by, though. Another engineer, yes. Upper item from Resistance Haven, you got it. Setting Could run into the hunter, but that's not one. a problem. Probably make this the last mission of the stream today. Who all is available? Skirmisher's tired. Lots of people tired. We've got... Ranger, Ranger, Specialist, Sharpshooter, Sharpshooter, Grenadier. Okay. Not a lot of small items available. Man, 45 additional hack from the Skulljack, that's crazy. The Ranger better armor. Very difficult rating, huh? We shall see about that. forces in this area managed to seize control of an advent data vault holding files tied to the alien operation we picked up on. The aliens weren't about to let it go that easy. They overran the site, recapturing the data and killing everyone they found. We're not going to let that stop us. Move to secure the area, neutralize all enemy contacts, and recover the assets. Menace 1-5, we've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Can do. Understood, moving out. No need to move too quick. We don't have a turn timer counting until concealment breaks. Got it. Ten four. We also don't want to be slow pokes here. Copy that. Affirmative. Yes, 
not a fan of smoker med kits. You gotta pay for them. Although making one or two med kits to carry around is probably a good idea now that I have the extra inventory spots. Roger that. Ten four. Getting it done. Sign of hostiles. The aliens may have oh. up the design, but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. That is an Archon. Flying alien with good defense, good evasion. And a big stick for bonking. Let's do this. I'm on it. Okay, we got line of sight on a lot of stuff. Muton plus sectoid. Archon plus sectoid. This could get me spotted. There's a pod right out here, but we need to know. Moving. We got a hostile squad here. Okay. So we obviously don't want to fight all of that at the same time. I think I'd like to engage. These first. Understood. Moving out. Let's get everybody over here. Got it. Headed there now. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Overwatch. Scanning. Scan on cool. That's about as good as a start as I'm going to get. I can hit them all with one gas grenade. That's pretty much perfect. Any overwatches that I want to try to do? I don't think so. We'll do that all after the fact. Two use on combat protocol now. Good. Top threats are the Muton and the Archon. Probably just want to throw a nade at the Muton here. 
25% defense on the Archons. And they have good dodge, which further complicates matters here. Probably want to hollow target the Archon, actually. I think that's a really good idea. Anywhere to move to. Not really. How come they don't have the debuff icon for the tactical thingy? Where they only get one action. Interesting. Heading there now. Oh, I can't see the archon from here. All right, fine. You grenade the muton then. Explosion. We can't kill the Urkan. That's bad. Okay, I'll kill the other two then, in that case. We'll let the Urkan to one thing. Only the best. Ooh, free action. still try to hurt you, but I imagine we won't succeed much. Hey, yeah, there's a tactical analysis debuff. Good. All right, time is ticking, so now we have to move. Be swift about it. Don't like my move options much, though. can't go around the corner and actually deal with the pod on this turn, so I'm going to creep a little closer here. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. I also don't want to deal with this by moving up too quickly. Wait, what? Trooper and Shield Bearer are poisoned? They've got friends. We've got friends coming in. What the heck? I have so many questions. Group's not visible, that's really good for now. I don't understand. It's all stinky death. On the move. Yeah, Flyboy clearly brought the poison to them. I just don't understand how that works.
Don't have that many turns left. Seems doable. Got some advent here. What? Got to be kidding me. Of course, that move sees them. That purifier explodes. That will take out the Archon. I had no idea the poison spread. Can just blunk them all. This is for you. forward and make a pistol shot, but I think I'd rather just do this. Nice! X-ray neutralized. Enemies down. Apparently not a problem. Cool. Come get some. Advent forces on the ground. This part's a little spooky, though. on the high ground. Okay, I can see it, but not hack it yet. It's fine. Plenty of having the snipers just break line of sight here. It seems somewhat reasonable. Mech could absolutely give me a hard time. Not much I can do about that. Just don't be on a bridge that can be sent into the icy waters below. Or whatever. Seems kind of bad, though. Whatever you say. Fire in the hole. Yeah. 
bunker. Covering. Not a problem. Scanning. There's safe terrain for loot here. Ooh, superior hair trigger. That's a good one. And I can hack the chest from here. Okay, we have some minor stuff to deal with. Really is NBD, you know? Find out if this guy explodes. Yep. No problem, boss. Maybe a little close, actually. That's unfortunate. Let's do this now. No problem, boss. Missed him too. Come on. Great. J'accède au système. It's 100% to reduce the contact for nearby region by 50%, but let's see if we can get the satellite data. That's super powerful. No luck. That's right, combat protocol will hit the mech pretty hard. It's true, maybe you should have done that instead of what I did just do. trouble here. Can't do nothing if I can't hit any shots. Alright, just get yourself out of there. I'm going. Oh yeah, these guys are here too. I forgot about them. Smart. And you? This looks a little ugly. Reasonable. It hit the plane. It's worse here. Okay, not bad. That definitely could have been way worse. So, pure fire trooper over there. Combat protocol work. Oh yeah, it's nine to ten damage to a mech. Holy crap! We're kidding about decent damage. That was good, but not that good. Mm 
left. Gremlin Mark II means better damage, that's right. Just didn't realize how much. On it. Oh, we got even more. Oh, jeez, do we ever. Okay, I thought this mission was almost over. Now we've got a muton on the high grounds. Spooky stuff. Let's go mining works on those guys, huh? That's right, Combat Protocol deals bonus damage to robotics. It's definitely unclear how the line of sight works on it, though. We should not let them see us for a moment. Back online. Locked and loaded. Rocket covered. Good to go. Tried and true tactic in XCOM. Break line of sight to the enemies so that they don't know what to do. Friendly reminder, don't melee the mutants. We're green to go. You'll hate it. I got nothing. <sighs> wow, the dodges. Adjusting aim. Even hit the muton, that's My cute. I get flanked now though. Wow. Oh, you're still alive too? Oh Jesus. It's freaking bad things, man. Yikes. Combat protocol does end my turn. The unfallen has fallen. And the situation has only gotten worse here. Gross. Hmm. I've seen what those mutons do with their batons up close. I can't believe I missed all three of those shots. Oh, man. What a pickle. So 
was a very difficult rated mission, wasn't it? Hmm. Somehow, oh, because this box is in front of the mech. Great. I'm on it. Just great. Magically know where I am? Maybe. Pension for that. On the move. Sure, the mech will flank me if I go here, because it'll magically know where to go. That's a hilarious option. Run behind them. Doesn't seem likely to succeed, though. Seems my little most likely bet. Let's see. I suspect the yeah, AI will cheat. Moving. In position. On Overwatch. I can't move. Yep. Yep. Didn't die though. But yeah, a very absolutely cheating unit there. There's no idea my soldier's there, and yet can see me. Didn't die though. Mutant has no shield because it got destroyed. How do I decide whether to hunker down or overwatch in these situations? Depends on whether I likely think I'm likely to hit with the overwatch, which I'm not particularly. With a long range weapon like a shotgun. How can you not see the mech? What? Be ridiculous. Now I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get it. Running dry. So screwed. Frustrating. It's definitely gonna flank me and kill somebody next turn. Not much I can do about that. I guess I could put her here. She will likely die. One more tile of movement would be so nice.
Affirmative. Covering now. Guess we'll try this, but I think this is death for Adonis. I should have just used the combat protocol when I had the chance. This was the very difficult rated mission, wasn't it? Hmm. Picking us off one at a time in a way that I really don't have a way to deal with. Such a bummer. I'm gonna lose uh, loot here as well. Damn it. Damn thing. Alright, well, the only possible way you can survive is if you freaking run away right now. So, run the Overwatch shot. Maybe you just die instantly. Nope, you don't. Good. Toward that guy. Okay, we have a chance to regain control here. Good to go. Yeah, I didn't get it. I see that. Did not get it. Oh, my God. Missed. I need ammo. Not the worst thing in the world, I guess. Spooky I mission, though. That. Very spooky mission. It's killing 
time. Not too shabby. That is confirmed. All hostiles Oof. are down and the area is secure. Advent officials revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. Good mission. It's gonna be the end of the stream, though. Hello, Commander. Been a pleasure streaming for you all. We'll deal with all of the nonsense next time. But for today, no, don't don't delete that. Save over it. For today, this is Baylor signing off, saying thank you so much for watching, everybody. Ta ta for now.